everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoteric on a brand new series, PGM Pandemonium, where I take a look at some of my favorite PGM games of all time. Today we're taking a look at Escaluda. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong, it's a hard name to pronounce, but it's an absolutely amazing game to play. And if you're not familiar with cave shmups or the entire concept of a bullet hell shmup, you will very shortly be very well acquainted with what that means. But the great thing about the PGM platform is that if you're looking to collect cave arcade games, it is by far the cheapest way to do it, because if you know anything about arcade collecting, cave PCBs cost thousands upon thousands of dollars. It is at the top tier of arcade collecting. It's up there with some of the medium tier Neo Geo AES or MVS games. But they are absolutely amazing games, and the fact that they play on the PGM and are relatively affordable, that is absolutely amazing. And if you can't tell already, if you've never played a Bullet Hell game, I'm sure you have, but the entire point of these type of games is that this screen is going to be filled with as many bullets as can possibly be processed at one moment in time. And weirdly enough, I am better at bullet hell games than I am at regular shmups. That's not to say I am amazing at them, but in this playthrough, I made it midway through the third stage on my first credit. And considering there's not that many stages, these are the type of games that if you do practice and get really good at, you could do a one credit continue. But I've always loved bullet hell games. I've never actually had a chance too much to talk about them on the channel because they are a niche. And I'm only going to be covering two on this series. Every time I do a shmup video, it doesn't seem to do well as everything else but we're going to keep trying until it either hits or I finally give up. But I love these type of games, and Cave is the absolute king of the genre because there's something so rhythmic and hypnotic of the bullet patterns that when you're playing this game and you're playing it well and everything is clicking, you get in the zone more so than any other genre of video game I have ever played. I'm getting right into the first stage boss here. You will see all of these patterns. Now, it starts off easy, air quotes. This probably isn't that easy, but as the levels go on, it's going to become progressively and progressively harder until it becomes almost impossible. But you will notice that I graze a lot of bullets. Your hitbox is not your entire character. It is only two pixels in the center. So it's actually easier than you may think. And I know this genre can be intimidating to some people, and I will be showing another shmup on the PGM coming up shortly from K that is more of a baby bullet hell game if there's a lack of a better term for it. But this is the type of game that you really need to practice to get good at. But when you do get good, when things start to click, it is the most satisfying gaming experience you can have, in my opinion. It's the same way when you're playing an arcade racing game and you're hitting every turn right, you're grading all those apexes, and everything feels amazing, or you're playing a fighting game and you're destroying your opponents. When you're playing well, it is an absolutely spectacular feeling. Moving right on here to stage two, outside of the gameplay mechanics, I've always loved cave shmups as well because visually and aesthetically, they're always extremely interesting and quite beautiful to look at. And their sprite work with the pre-rendered CGI turned into sprites is dynamic, really interesting, and really a trademark of what they are doing. The soundtrack's always amazing, and every theme is different. Sometimes Cave is dealing with bees, sometimes they're dealing with bugs, sometimes they're dealing with steampunk elements. Every game has that signature Cave look to it, but each genre, as far as the thematic content is concerned, is wildly different. And you'll see here as we get on to the next boss, the patterns get a lot quicker and a lot weirder. And if you do get stuck, you can use a particular button on your controller to slow the patterns down, just giving you a little bit more time to get through them. If you know you're in a situation when you're going to die, that is definitely what you want to be doing because it's going to protect your lives. Because the entire point of these games is score chaining. And I'm sure some people that are watching this video right now are going to say that I am not playing this game correctly, and that is definitely true. I am not so much concerned with maximizing my high score as I am at just memorizing the patterns and getting better at the game. Once you can get through the game on one credit, which is a very steep feat, then you can worry about your score chaining and second loops. There's a lot of different mechanics as far as how to maximize your score, how to graze bullets, and how to use specials at the right time to maximize everything. And it gets quite complicated and actually involves some paper math to figure out what the best scoring mechanic is going to be. And if you are really into these shmups, that's something that you're definitely gonna be doing for me I just love playing them. So if you want to leave a comment down below and tell me I'm not doing the score training right, 
by all means go ahead it's an extra comment but honestly i already know that but moving on to the next boss here i just love these patterns not only are they beautiful to look at but they're challenging to get through but once you see them come out you will realize that there is a path through absolutely everything nothing is impossible i did take my first hit right there but if you just study the patterns and really get used to them you will start finding out that there are openings in between absolutely everything that you can go through as you see here as i navigate around all those pink bullets it is possible and they do a really good job aesthetically of making the bullets as bright as they possibly can so you can see what you're dealing with but if you get hit in this game it's not because the game gave you an unfair circumstance it's because you just didn't read the right pattern through the individual bullet bursts that are coming towards you and don't get me wrong it is not easy making these dodges is quite complicated it's just memorization and i do love that even if i took a hit there because it is something that you really can just dig down into play over and over again and try to get better at it's the same concept of learning a fighting game except as a shmup but as good as this game looks as amazing as this game plays it also sounds amazing too so go ahead and listen to the soundtrack for like 45 seconds and i'll come back and try to convince you to play a bullet hell game if you never have but enjoy Yeah, the soundtrack is just absolutely perfect for what is going on on the screen. And you'll see here as I'm to the next boss, I still have two lives left. And I have made it all the way this far on my first credit. And I did take a hit there. But I haven't played Escaluda in a while. And I'm sure that I've actually spent enough time playing this day after day that getting to that one credit continues state wouldn't be that difficult. Because these games are always things you see online talking about some of the most difficult games. But I actually think... If your brain is wired for them, they're actually not the hardest thing in the world. Now, there's so many interesting visual things going on on the screen at once. You have so much good sprite work, but honestly, you're really not looking at it the entire time you play. You're only focused on the center of your character and what is in their immediate vicinity. And if you do that, if you focus on your ship and ignore everything else going on around you, suddenly it actually becomes easier in my opinion. Now, these are the type of games you either love them or hate them. There's no middle ground of people being like oh, bullet hell's not bad but i don't need to play it if i don't have to if you're into them you're going to play all of them if you're not into them you're not going to bother with them whatsoever but if you haven't played a bullet hell shmup before i want you to play one after the video it can be this it can be dudan pachi it can be death smiles it can be anything really just make sure that it's a good bullet hell shmup and just give it a try don't get discouraged when you die the first couple times. You're going to be using so many continues when you first play these games. What you will realize is the more you play them, the further you get on that first credit, the more you learn the patterns, and the more you realize that this is basically a rhythm game. Once you get your rhythm moving through those bullets and everything starts to click, it actually becomes relatively easy. Like I said, I haven't played this game for a few years and I was still able to manage to get through almost the first half of the game on my first credit. Now, if I played this every day of the week for the next month or so, I'm sure that I could get to that one credit continue situation and I'd be very happy with it. But they're just amazing games. Visually, they are spectacular to look at. The soundtracks are incredible. Cave makes amazing bullet hell shmups. And if you've never played one, you definitely have. And if you don't have a PGM, these games are not expensive. Now, the asterisk on that is that most of them are conversions because cave shmups on the PGM came on single motherboards 
with a JAMA Edge. They were not cartridge based. Cave had a special BIOS on them. But people have converted the game to cartridge format. So while these may not be wholly original, it is the cheapest way to play a Cave arcade game in your cabinet. And if you do want to buy the original PCBs for PGM, they're actually cheaper than a lot of the other Cave PCBs. That's not to say they're cheap, it just means they are less expensive. But this is an amazing game. I absolutely love it, and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. We will be back next Tuesday with more PGM stuff, and I'll have videos throughout the week as well. But leave me a comment down below. Do you play Bullet Hell games, and do you enjoy them, or do you just hate it? See you guys next time. Bye-bye.